everybody. It's so bad when you're almost late for your own party, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I realized that I hadn't cleaned my brushes in a minute, so I had to work on that real quick. So let me get a couple other things under control while you talk amongst yourselves. I hope everybody's having a fabulous evening. Let's see, that's not what I want. I want to make sure that this other volume thingamajiggy is turned off so we don't get interrupted. There we go. That one's off. Yeah, my fantasy of having like a tech person do all this for me, that's not happening. Yeah, I've given up on a few fantasies. <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, let me make sure that we are indeed live. Oh, gollies. Yep, there we are. Okay, we'll shut that down. Only need to see it once. <laughs> so yesterday, gosh, I did um, a TikTok and uh, only took me all day. But everybody went on about my hair. So then I think it must have made me cocky because today I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, whip it, you know, oh, it's just so easy to work with. And it's been a little not, not quite as cute. But um, yeah, it's super duper short. I... I knew it was risky, but I just, I, the yellow at the bottom is, you know, making me a little bit crazy. So I just thought, well, let's just chop it off, you know? And then it's, once you do it, you can't undo it. But I mean, it's cute. It's cute. It's just, I have to really kind of work with this area here because if it can make me look really chubby, like when it just like just hits me in a certain way. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I play with it. But anyway, so we're going to have so fun, much fun tonight because we are trying a Valentine color uh, combination for eyes. And I had actually had sort of a competition in my private VIP group. That's what I call it. Um, the name of the group is Beauty Through the Ages, and that's my established customer group. And we had a competition where I said, you know, put any four eye colors together and we're going to vote on what we think is, you know, the most stunning, the most fun, the prettiest, whatever, the, the best combination. And so we ran that and we had such beautiful color combinations, just really, really great ideas. And this is the, actually the one that won this look that I'm demoing tonight. The other option is one that... Um, not Robert Jones, Luis Casco had put together last year. So um, Chris Ryan is the customer slash consultant who put together the look that we're trying tonight. And so Chris, your look was chosen over one created by a world famous professional makeup artist. So kudos. <laughs> so let's see, I've got it up here for us all to look at and review. Let's see. So the look itself is Blossom, which is a matte, very, very light pink. Sunlit Rose, which is a shimmer, but uh, it's very subtle. It's more like a pearl. And I'm going to have that in the outer corner where I don't have a lot of texture. Most of us don't have texture in the outer corner. So I think that you're going to like how that works. Dusty Rose and Merlot. So three of the four are matte. And um, the way that eye color comes in Mary Kay is that they are individual they come like in little individual clamshell packaging is what we call it and that way you can put together your own palette just like we just did and typically we go through one quicker than the other one so when you run out of blossom you can replace that without having to replace the entire four piece set and uh, that way we're also able to make a better quality, longer lasting compact as opposed to the ones that you just throw away every time you use up the four eye colors. So that's the, the strategy or the thought behind that. I know that brand new customers are, are kind of like, what, what's going on? <laughs> why, is, why is my eye color just all by itself and there's not a compact? So it's, it's a little different, I think, than some people uh, or some companies do it, but you'll love it once you, uh, get the, once you get the hang of it. 
So, okay. So it's funny how just not having eye color makes my whole face, my look so much different. Like it just seems very juvenile and my eyes look just so boring. I do have on my foundation and blush. I did my brows. I'm probably going to have to go to a lighter color, I think. And um, my lipstick. I'm Michelle Fox. <laughs> I'm almost a professional. Um, I'm Michelle Fox, independent beauty consultant, and I'm so glad that you're joining us. Make sure that you say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me if this is the first time that you've joined us. What I would love to do is to get enough interaction going that you are asking and answering questions and just letting me know if you've ever tried these products and what you think as we go along. Last week, we just really did not have very much interaction, so I'm not going to announce a prize winner at the end of today's video. I know that's kind of a bummer, but I, I want us to get more people, you know, talking and interacting, and so what needs to happen is, you know, liking the video, commenting, sharing it, tagging a friend, all of that stuff gets your name into a drawing. And ideally, once we get the ball rolling, we'll have a prize weekly. But, you know, I don't want to do it when I've got the same two or three names, you know, every week. So I'm going to make you work for it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to what we're talking about. So we're going to use Blossom. I'm using an all over eye color brush. It's just sort of a general loose brush. And I'm putting Blossom on uh, the, my eyelid, I've learned a couple things. I like to put on false eyelashes. And so I don't want to get it like super close to my lashes anymore because the powder makes my glue network as well. And I've noticed that because my eyes are different shapes and sizes and all kinds of crazy. <laughs> Uh, I do some little maneuvers in the middle of my eye. So I used to really make an effort to go from, you know, my lashes right exactly to my crease on both eyes. Now I would say I, I am not quite as precise. I really try to get it. Well, all right, let me just do it while I'm, while I'm talking. So I load up my brush, move my mirror, load up my brush with quite a bit of product and instead of starting, you know, right by my lashes, I might start up a little higher and, and pat that down really nicely. I do have eye primer on. And instead of uh, really making a big effort to get just that same intensity all the way up to my crease, I kind of let it, um, I sort of feather it out. I blend it out. In past times, I might even dip back in and get even more and, and again, pat it and just have like very, uh, so that it was very precise and very light and it, you could really, uh, the whole almond shaped part of my eye was like very, very obvious and visible. But I think when you see step two, you'll understand why I'm not doing that so much. So when I first lay it down, I, I, Put, I lay down quite a bit, but then I start to just sort of feather it out so that the edges are a little softer. And then I'm not quite as concerned about getting it all the way to my lashes as I used to be. I do love me some false eyelashes. I love our mascara too, but I don't know. False eyelashes, it's like playing dress up. <laughs> okay, so this is Blossom. It's matte. I was just thinking about, we had a uh, mineral color foundation, not foundation, mineral color eye colors prior to the Chroma Fusion eye colors. And they were beautiful and fun colors and everything, but the light colors, mm, they, they were really hard to get them to show up and they didn't always blend really easily easily and I was thinking about how back in the day I kept thinking oh I just wish that we could come up with some some light colors that really packed a punch and these really really do so I I have I I really appreciate that because <laughs> I've even um you know over the years I'll try other brands just to kind of see what's what make sure that we're still top of the 
pile. <laughs> and a lot of brands struggle with that, with the really light, especially matte colors showing up. And these colors are awesome. Really, really good. Like Biscotti and Blossom and Sandcastle. They are light and yet they show up. You can make them be as visible, as obvious as you want them to be. Or if you want them to be really sheer, you can do that as well. So very versatile. Okay, so I've laid that down. I'm not doing anything under my brow yet. Now I'm going to take the skinnier smudger brush. And I'm going to pick up the Dusty Rose, which is another matte color. And I, I just watched a video about, you know, the mid-tone and I, I'm totally not agreeing with what I was told to do. <laughs> the whole video was about, you know, just doing like a really sheer soft layer with the fluffy brush and all this. And I'm like, I just can't get away from, for me, it works best to use more of a tightly bristled brush head to really get a lot of product on there, tap off the excess, and to really get it in your actual crease. At this point, we're not worrying about making a fake crease or any of that other stuff. Where actually you can feel it with your finger, like feel where there's, there's a divot in there. And we're gonna just put that product like right in, right in that space, right in that crease. So you really, you can't screw this up, okay? <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no thinking required at this point. So whereas many, many makeup artists would say to use a, probably a brush more like this, I'm using a brush like, like this. So there's a big difference. Here we go. Let's see. And uh, I think if I had younger eyes, I could probably do that. But when you see what I do next, you'll understand why. So I put quite a heavy deposit of that color right in the actual crease. And that was Dusty Rose Smudger Brush. Okay. Now I will take a fluffier brush. And this is what I lovingly call my good eye. <laughs> and that means that more of, of this part of my lid shows than my bad eye. So I actually want this color to be blended both above my crease and below my crease because I've got room to spare, so to speak. All right. So when I'm blending, I can go in here and I can be a little you know, willy nilly. I can kind of just go back and forth and I could even like brush it down a little bit if I wanted to, you know, do some short feathery strokes coming straight down and up. This is just blending, like making it look softer, more, uh, more like an airbrushed look. Okay. Now on the other side, I will do a similar thing, but I will have to, you know, adjust my maneuver because it's the bad eye. All right, so little brush. Boy, I'm like whistling. I can, can you hear the air going through my teeth? <laughs> I don't think I lost a tooth today or anything. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting quite a heavy deposit of that mid-tone right in the actual crease. Right in the actual crease. With the smudger brush. This is the bad eye. So this is the one that uh, you can't really see as much of the mobile lid. So I need to salvage that. I need to not bring any of that dark down. I need to be very careful and only allow that dark color to be blended upward. So I'm like on purpose only blending 
from like the, the little crevice up. I'm not all willy-nilly like I was before. This time I have to be more precise. And that is because I have ptosis, which uh, the muscles in this eye are more relaxed, but most of us have eyes that are slightly different. You'll have slightly different shape or one eye bigger than the other. So it's always good to learn the concept, the philosophy behind, you know, light and dark and placement to make adjustments so that your eyes can look a little more symmetrical. Okay, so that's what I do there. Now, the beautiful Sunlit Rose. I could use any brush at this point, but because I don't want anything feeling sad, I'm going to use the crease brush. <laughs> Sunlit Rose is a gorgeous color. Let's see here. Let me make sure I'm grabbing the right one. Okay. This has to be it. Is that right? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, this one. Okay. Look at, look at my palette. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a minute. Okay. It's this one. It is. All right. So I loaded up quite a bit on my brush. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to put it in the outer corner, but I'm also going to bring it in probably like a third of the way right along my eyelid. Uh, to me, like the part, the crepey part of my eye that I like to avoid spotlighting is more in this area in here. So as long as I don't put a lot of shimmer like, you know, right in here, I feel like I'm, I'm okay. And so this has some shimmer, not a ton. It really is not um, terrifically shimmery. So I'm starting out in the outer corner, a little higher than my crease, bringing it uh, in toward my crease, and then coming back where I was, coming down toward my lashes. So I made sort of a V out there. And then I'm, I'm filling in that V and as I do, I'm bringing it all the way a little farther in than normal because I'm allowing it to cover a little bit of my lid. I don't normally bring it in far enough to cover part of my lid. So that's, that's something that's different. Okay. Make sure I'm dipping back into the right one. <laughs> all right. I got to just look at myself a minute. So this is very, very close to the dusty rose with the added little bit of shimmer. Something that I struggle to explain to people because everybody's eyes are so different, but today I think I might have hit on something. I was thinking about like how to explain like where the high point is, like where to have your outer crease, or not your outer crease, but like the outer corner, like where that tip should be, where that point, the arrowhead. And I thought for me, uh, if you feel like that, this little divot like against your nose, like where um, the bone goes in, and pretty much that's like where your tear duct is as well, and just go straight across and underneath the tail of your brow. That's, that's where I'm talking. Okay. So even though your lashes might come down lower than that or higher or whatever, this is about where, where we want it to, to be the height of that outer crease. You follow me? <laughs> Sometimes the more I explain, the crazier it sounds. Oh my. Okay. And then I'm just going to, a lot of times this is just logic. You just see something like, oh, this needs to connect with that. Or this, you know, this is higher than this. So like right now where, where this 
shimmery part ends is slightly higher than where I have any of my dusty rose laid down. So I just want to kind of follow that path just a little bit to, to sort of merge the two together. You know, it's as much art as it is science, people. And there's no perfect way. There's no right or wrong. It's what makes you feel pretty, what works for you. I was, <laughs> if you've been with me any length of time, you know I really like diva nails, these guys. And I had some all spread out on my desk today. I have like a gajillion of them. And I thought, this is my hobby, because I kind of feel bad that I don't really have hobbies. <laughs> but really, in the same way that, you know, crochet and whatever the heck else, you, people enjoy that because it's artistic and you're working with color and, and patterns and stuff. Makeup and nails, that that's my artsy-fartsy expression. I love it. And that's okay. That's okay with me. All right, so I'm out here. I'm making this outer V type thing. I forget that I need to walk you through. So I'm coming in this way over here. This again is sunlit rose. Then I come back out to this outer corner and come down toward my lash line. And then I'm feathering it in, sort of filling in that area. And as I do, I'm also bringing it on my lid. And then I'm going to try to join the two, join the sunlit rose with the dusty rose. And this is my gimpy eye. <laughs> so I focus up high. Okay, let me let me pause. They're very very pretty colors. We're not done yet. These are all really soft. I'm you could just leave it like this and use Merlot as a liner, you know, just to outline your eyes. But I am going to put a little bit of it out in the outer corner, be, just to give it a little more, a little more oomph. Let's see. I'm going to come back with the smudger brush and I'm really and truly just taking just a tiny bit. All right, where is that guy? Right here. Merlot is a gorgeous wine shade, but you got to control it just like your wine. <laughs> okay. So this is important now that you know, like where that outer, that corner, point whatever arrowhead is because I just want to put a dot in that spot so let's see here so like that's where I'm putting my Merlot dot I just want just a little bit of it because I just want to use it to deepen this but I don't want to overwhelm it which I have a terrible habit of doing so I just put that right there and I'm just going to kind of feather it, you know, up and down. I did not put a lot of product on the brush that time. If I wanted this to be really dramatic, then I would have put more product. I could have used a bigger brush, but I just want this to add a little bit of depth to that outer corner. And if you're asking questions, I will come back and answer, but I can't uh, see anything. And this is actually the eye color combination that I had on when I did my, my TikTok video. And a lot of people liked that as well. So it's like I said, I just used just a little bit so that it gave it a little more body than without but I didn't want to go crazy Valentine just feels soft you know don't want to be too out there 
Now this, I think I need to blend this a little bit. Got more of this on this side. This is just the fluffy brush. Blend in a little bit of my Sunlit Rose before I add this. Doing my dot of the Merlot. Then I just take it above and below. Okay, oh yeah, that's kind of cute. You can see my palette back there, huh? It's a good thing I don't have anything like embarrassing back there, <laughs> or do I? <laughs> I really like these colors and I was going to suggest that uh, what you can do since the sunlit rose it's it's not a dark you know it's a medium body it's medium shade it's not super light like blossom but it is shimmery and it does reflect light really well so you could put some of that under your brow I think, let's tr do that. Let's just do, that's another area where we're not typically crepey. You know, this this is usually smooth, thank God. <laughs> we got one area. There, how's it looking? Pretty good, okay. So yeah, let's do, let's do. And for that I used uh, this one, right? Crease brush. Pretty sure. So I'm just going to go just right under my brow. Give it just a little bit of shimmer. And we, I have talked before about how I don't do highlight, you know, like out in this area here because I don't want to focus on my flap. But I'm talking like way up here, like right under, right under the brow. I think I'm going to have to switch. I finally started using brunette eyebrow stuff when I was brunette. Then I started lightening my hair and I went back to dark blonde and now I think I'm going to have to go to like blonde because I feel like my brows are overwhelming my face. Crazy. Okay, we have this really cool little number. It is a spoolie on one end. You can brush your brows or um, smooth out your eyelashes with this and an eyeliner on the other end. So I'm going to dip into the Merlot with that skinny little liner. and line my eyes. I'm gonna come from above, and since I'm not putting on false eyelashes tonight, it's too close to bedtime. I'm just gonna go ahead and line really close to my lashes. And you can also line from underneath, tight line. That's another way of lining. It's very pretty and very dramatic looking. And I, I have not been lining underneath as much lately. Uh, but because of my glasses, unfortunately, you can't see very much of the top half of my eye. And so I will look at myself in the mirror and think, I'm not putting anything on the bottom half of my eye. And that's what everybody's looking at. So I probably need to rethink that philosophy. <laughs> Merlot is a very pretty color. I love any kind of purple. You see what I'm doing? I'm just like following the line. I'm just setting it. I set it down, pick it up, set it down, pick it up, because this is so skinny that it's making the line for me. I don't have to worry about creating a straight line. I just 
lay it down, pick it up, move over a little bit, lay it down, pick it up, move it over a little bit. All right. Let's see. What do you think? You love it? <laughs> I think I think it looks good. I personally would probably go a little darker even in that outer corner, but that is my problem. <laughs> I just keep going and going and then I'm I kind of, you know, then it's too much. I also I don't always teach on this, but I always have like one brush that I keep uber clean. And at the end of my eye routine, I like to clean up right in here. Like I, if there's any fallout, anything, any line in this area here, I, I like to clean that out. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about that, but I, I like to make sure that, that that is really smooth and clean in there. And I want to clean underneath too. All right. I need to reapply my mascara. I think uh, sometimes just when I'm maneuvering in there, I kind of smush them down. But other than that, it's looking pretty good, yeah? <laughs> so if you want samples of those colors, let me know because that's totally doable. And if you are not part of Beauty Through the Ages, which is a private group, right now you're probably on my business page, which is a public business page, but the fun of being in the private group is like we did that voting thing or we voted on what colors we liked and, and Chris won. Uh, we have lots of giveaways and fun stuff there. So I would love it if you would consider joining that and make sure that if you have not said anything yet in the comments, just at least say, hi, your eyes look really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> say something it really does help it helps the algorithm blah 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 but the more people interact the more likely other people will see the video which is great because i the reason i make videos is so people see them obviously but also it really is fun it, i am amazed i think the whole covid thing has made us all realize you can actually make friends on facebook it's it's cool it's neat that you can be interacting with people and actually feel like you really know people well just because you show up on thursday nights and chit chat during a live video so you can never have too many friends am i right so, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have given me some feedback there. And if you want the samples, let me know. If I'm not your consultant, make sure that you just let your consultant know you want Blossom, Dusty Rose, Sunlit Rose, Merlot. All righty. Next week, we are going to talk about pink lipstick. I'll show you a variety of pinks. That's what I did in my TikTok. And we'll just talk about what do you need to be factoring in? How do you figure out what's the right pink for you? For a long time, I didn't think I could wear pink, but indeed I can. So that's what we're going to chat about, and I will see you then. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great, great night. Good night.